Tell these girls, come on, well, let's have a mosh pit. I'm on my edge and shit, had them lost it. Cut your panties, keep them wetting like a faucet. Photo weeks took to end up in Boston. I got them saying, put my big flare clothes. Chest hair out, with fresh pair of boats. Listen, I know you took the summer off, but it's the party of the year. Take it off. Take it off. Hi, my name is Terry Ryasat and welcome to another CMI VFX Edutainment Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to explore Blackmagic's fusion. We'll discuss the basics of various topics that are imperative to compositing. We'll discuss many different tips and tricks in this software package and various workflow hints to make you more efficient in fusion. We're going to look at the interface and the menu bar and see how we can customize it to suit your needs. We'll look at the global preferences and discuss the most common ones that you'll be looking at every time you start a new comp. We'll discuss node-based compositing and how to use it within Fusion. We'll talk about additional customization of the Fusion node graph and learn all the ins and outs of this crucial area. We're also going to look at all the relevant options regarding the viewer and how to maximize the potential of the viewer. We'll look at also discussing the loader and all of its options. We'll take a look at loading in multi-channel EXRs and how to view all the passes that are embedded with them. We'll also look at savers and see all the options we have to save out an image sequence or movies. Well, then we're going to take a look at the creator nodes in Fusion. We'll focus our attention on the fast noise creator and then we're also going to take a look at the text plus node. And while we're at it, let's also start looking at color correction nodes in Fusion. We'll focus on the color correction node, and then we're going to have a look at the hue curves tool and all the rest of the color correction nodes. And what about animation splines and timelines? We're going to have an in-depth look at all the animation tools we have available. We'll see how to manipulate the animation using Fusion's powerful options. We'll discuss some t tips and tricks and how to get the most out of the interface to have a great experience with these three crucial parts of the program. Then let's take a look at the paint tool. We'll discuss the different type of stroke options we have and when to use them. We'll touch on all of the other attributes that we have in this extremely versatile node. Now what about the mighty tracker node? Well, we're going to take a look on how to track an object and how to stabilize footage. Let's Then let's also look at some more options to get the most out of this tracker. Now one of the most powerful areas in Fusion is the 3D space. We'll talk about the workflow in the 3D space and look at the most common tools that we need to explore and navigate this realm. Now why don't we have a look at Fusion's particles too? Well let's do it, so we're going to take a nice look at uh, particle chains, explore all the unique options Fusion has to offer within these powerful particles. And then we're also going to do some additional uh, discussion on some tips and tricks. We're going to talk about combining mats using the various masks types. This is so important to understand this because when you start using very, uh, when you start using many masks and mats all at once, everything can become very confusing. So we're going to sort all that out and we're also going to take a look at the console tab and see how it's there just to help us out. Now let's go ahead and get started. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. 